to. We want to go on to trauma. Mm -hmm. And what we have to realise is that some people who've been in long-stay hospitals, so they'll be the elder generation, mm -hmm. may be deeply traumatised by the experience. And uh, we've... Uh, I've... I've Given the example of one woman, um, she, you know, who's running around in awful distress, talking about what happened to her, um, and well, you know, seventy-five percent of the people who were in long-stay hospitals either were physically or sexually abused. Mm -hmm. Um, and the other 25% possibly emotionally abused. So we possibly almost yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's um, and they are badly damaged. Um, some of them will have retreated completely. Some of them will be exhibiting very distressed behaviour. And uh, we have to try and find ways of getting to them. I remember one woman that I saw, and uh, she had been abandoned in hospital about the age of three and had seen her parents once or twice since then. Mm -hmm. She was in her 50s, age of 60s. Mm -hmm. And um, she was terribly distressed every time the door banged and somebody went out. And um, she had various repetitive behaviours, and one of them was um, lifting people's credit cards and running her teeth along the raised... Mm. Um, oh, the, the number that's the printed number down. Right, yes. She really liked that. Um, it was the feeling on her teeth, of And course. the vibration on her teeth? And also partly the sound, uh -huh. because um, I, 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 I tackled that first and found ways of... Uh, making the same sort of sound by running my, no, running my finger along the radiator. The radiator yes. yes, and she loved that, and she started to cheer up a bit. And then I got her really relaxed, and then I said to someone, now you go out and bang the front door. And uh, she got very upset, and she started going, she went to the front door, and she started screaming and mm. hitting anybody who went there. So this time we got her, sorry, this time we got her really, really relaxed um, by using her uh, traumatic, sorry, her, um, her self-stimulating yes. um, behaviour. And um, I, she went to the door then, when the, when the door banged, and I got her manager to stand behind her. And every time, if you turn that, mm -hmm. every time she banged the, uh, every time she screamed, we went, Ah, and we pressed, so she's getting pressure and empathy. Okay. Uh, so, so, okay. and, and, uh, so in time for screaming? So yes, been, so ah, every, uh, every ah, time she went, ah, ah we went, ah. ah. And, um, but you have to be empathetic. As I said before, it's no good sort of trying to pretend to be. Mm. One has to put oneself in the position of this woman who's suffered extreme mm. stress. Mm -hmm. um, and I came to the conclusion that actually... It was trauma. It, what she was uh, reenacting was when the door slammed. That was it. End yes. of parents. Yes. End of beginning of yeah. uh, being in hospital. Mm -hmm. And working with the manager and, and the staff, I got them to um, do this when uh, to respond to her when uh, she went to the door. And the next time it happened. Um, she was hardly interested. She went to look at the window and then she went out to the door, put her nose against the window, but she, was, she wasn't screaming and she wasn't... Because what you'd offered her was acknowledgement... Or acknowledgement of how she felt. Yes, yes. That, that it's, it's so important to acknowledge negative affect. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. the absolute critical thing that we're doing because that can... It's, it's more than a sticking plaster. It's, yes. it's, it's yeah. not just... You know, a couple of stitches in the yes. wound. It actually seems to heal yeah. um, from inside yeah. the deeply traumatized person. Um, and uh, th they need their woundedness addressed. Yeah, like all of us do. Yes, like yes. all of us do. Yeah. Yeah. But in a way that is understandable, absorbable. Yeah. Echoes their rhythms, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm.